it's great to be back with you for another mega grading results video um, I know that uh, it's been a couple of days I've put a another video on gold 50 pences in the middle uh, but it's nice to have a break sometimes but as you can see this box is plenty full of graded coins that have been returned by NGC so uh, these coins belong to quite a number of different people they certainly uh, not my my own coins so let's make a start and the first one we have here is a 1999 gold two pound coin uh, it was conserved by NGC and unfortunately uh, even with conservation this one couldn't rise above a 68. This next one was conserved also by NGC and it had quite a lot of copper spots on it and little little kind of dots of red all over both sides I think and NGC have done a wonderful job on this or NCS in conserving it and that one scored a 70 after conservation which is great. Here's a 2006 one this is a Britannia quarter ounce Britannia scored a perfect 70 and the next uh, coins are from the Isle of Man but they're pretty old 1977 proof coins and uh, they have been conserved there's a it's a set of three half one and two sovereigns they've all be, been uh, conserved by NCS and uh, what's really interesting about this set is that two of the coins got a 69 but one got a perfect 70 and a perfect 70 for any of these older Isle of Man coins is actually pretty difficult to get and quite an accomplishment for a coin that uh, is such a, an old coin with the potential to be mishandled for quite a number of years. We've got some silver pandas that have been sent in for grading and they, they were all conserved. Most people who send panda coins in, uh, silver or gold, most of them tend to have them conserved before they're graded. I think uh, it does help with pandas. It's not necessarily a recipe for getting a perfect 70 all the time, but it's, um, it's very easy to be disappointed by grades on pandas without conservation. Um, partly because of the plastic packaging, less of a problem with the silver ones than the gold ones, but uh, they kind of suffer from contact with PVC and stuff over the years. But some nice varieties of uh, silver pandas here, and uh, these are pretty nice. And uh, whilst they didn't get a perfect 70, they score very highly, and there are very few 70s that have ever been graded for some of these coins. You always recognise immediately the 89 one. It's so distinctive with the crisscross pattern. I've got a proof one of these in my collection. Um, but I have sold quite a few of the silver pandas that I had because I wanted to focus on other things. Okay, let's have a look and see. Oh, okay. Mm. Look, 67 is not a bad grade for a bullion coin. These coins were not minted to be graded. Very few of them get a perfect 70. Uh, so 67 for a standard um, Queen's Beast bullion coin, I don't think is too bad at all. This is a pretty rare Chinese coin. Uh, most of the Chinese unicorn coins are pretty rare. They're very beautiful, very rare. I think 97 uh, one tenth of an ounce um, unicorns have a pretty, it was a pretty low mintage year, so this is actually quite a valuable coin. Here's one which is minted by the Perth Mint, so a Tuvalu two dollar antiqued coin, and the first one I've had with this good health and well being label. Um, the person whose coin it is chose this label. The label was a little bit extra, but I think it really suits this coin really, really well. Um, it's a really smart coin and a lot of collectors for these antique Perth Mint coins. There's people who buy this one 
every year by all the different dragon and phoenix designs. I think that it's one of those uh, areas of collecting that has a real following. Okay, so the next one along is my coin. So this coin is a proof 1831 half penny. It's a bronzed proof. So it's a copper coin that's been bronzed. Um, and there are also, for some of these coins, copper unbronzed versions. Uh, in this case, bronzed coins are the, the norm. So uh, they're the ones that are worth probably a little bit less than the pure copper coins. But uh, William IV, 1831, proof coin, pretty rare coin. Um, a coin I bought from Sovereign Rarities at the London Coin Show in February. And uh, it's uh, been conserved by NCS and it's then been graded by NGC and it scored a very high, very respectable grade. I felt it was a good coin when I submitted it, but um, Proof 65 rates it as one of the highest graded uh, of its type at NGC, which I'm very happy with. And this coin is also something to rejoice. When this came in from a Silver Forum member, uh, I put it up on Facebook and uh, uh, some people said, well, I don't think this one is real because there's quite a few um, non-genuine ones around. Uh, but in fact, this was conserved by uh, NCS and it was graded by NGC and uh, it got a very, very respectable uh, AU55. Not bad for such an old coin. 1725 and uh, 20,000 Reese value coin. Just something extraordinary and beautiful and actually pretty valuable as well. So before we uh, finish the rest of this box, let's hear from uh, The Coin Connection, who have a new discount code for May. The month of May is going to be a pretty big month for new coins, so why not use the special code for May, valid until the 31st of May, and the code is Larry. The code is Larry. Valid at thecoinconnection.co.uk. If you haven't used Coin Connection before, do give uh, give them a try. They provide very good service, and uh, there are some new coins coming up from the Royal Mint in May uh, to watch out for. And uh, Coin Connection could be your best bet to get hold of those coins that are hard to come by, and make sure they're in first class condition as well. So uh, let's take a look at the stuff that's in the box. This one is a uh, that was a ticket from a Baldwin's auction that went with the 1888 Sovereign that you'll see in this box. But let's take a look at this. 1887, two Sovereigns, MS62 is a pretty good grade for this coin. I think I've had one, one that got a PL, a proof-like designation of these, but these are really nice, chunky golden coins with a great history. And uh, you could do worse if you're looking for uh, coins with a relatively modest premium for the historical old coin um, because those are, are available in the market in reasonable quantities. So 1871, Sovereign, nice grade. 1892, Melbourne Sovereign, got a 62 grade, also pretty good, nice bit of luster on that coin. Lots of collectors of these older Victorian sovereigns. Um, there are so many different types and varieties um, that, that you can get hold of uh, if you once you start to collect these kind of coins. That uh, there's there's probably more people who collect sovereigns than any other type of British coin. And those who collect sovereigns will know how unique and important 1838 is. 1838 is the first year of uh, Victorian sovereigns, um, circulation sovereigns, although there were some patterns in 1837, very rare patterns. This one's a shield back. Um, there is a, uh, a wide and a narrow shield in 1838. Narrow is very, very expensive. 
uh, even the wide one like this is several thousand dollars for a coin, even in an AU50 condition. Um, very, very sought after. 1893, Sydney, Australia, MS63. You can just see this one is kind of minty fresh coin, 63. It would have been higher if there was uh, probably less markings uh, on the fields there. But look at that luster. Really nice coin. Love that one. Oh, okay. 1891, Melbourne. This one turned out to be a little too polished for NGC's liking. And this one did really well. And this is the one that came with that auction ticket from Baldwin's. So 8088, they really like this. NGC, if they really like it, and it's very, very good for its grade, uh, it didn't quite get a 64. There's a bit too much happening on those fields for a 64, but it got a 63 plus, And uh, I thought that's a really, really good result for this coin. Uh, it's always worth looking out for pluses and stars and all this kind of stuff. And when you're doing searches on eBay and auctions, then you can often do a search for anything with a PL designation or a plus or a star uh, and those coins, or maybe even a CAC sticker if on American coins. And those are certainly the ones to look out for. Lots of these 2002 uh, Jubilee Sovereigns, um, a lot of them are getting 70s. Um, I must have single-handedly improved the population by quite a lumber. So uh, they're continuing to be put in. And here's something unusual. that It's the first one of this set I've seen. Really nice set. This was conserved and it did pretty well. Uh, this is kind of Commonwealth... I think the the Manchester Commonwealth Games and it did really really well quite a rare set 1998 sovereign what can you say about that it got a 70 and it's always nice to see 70 sovereigns 2005 Britannia special design year Britannia very nice didn't quite make the 70 but uh, it's still a pretty nice valuable coin Lots of nice gold in it at 69. Not bad. Nothing to uh, nothing to be sorry about that one, really. This 2005 is part of the set. So it was a set of, uh, of I think, I don't know whether it was 50, 125, or 10, 25, 50, but it was a set of, oh, there we go. There's the 100, a three-coin set. 25 is the quarter, 50 pounds is the half, and £100 is the big one. So you can see that one did very well. You don't often get these big Britannias in for grading, but they're some of the designs on a big um, planchet. Really nice. A 1996 half-ounce Panda. A lot of people are collecting the half-ounce ones. If you look at the mintage and surviving coin numbers, Half ounce is the sweet spot. Another sovereign, very nice grade, very nice cameo on that one. And another one, 1981 proof sovereign, proof 70. Not easy to get proof 70 on 80, 79, 80 or 81 coins. Back to something more modern. This one's the plain edge strike on the day um, one of my tips back in 2017 when that came out another one of my tips actually if you can find these at anything approximating a good price uh, that coin is is an 11 or 1200 pound coin and it's probably a 900 pound coin in mint packaging and there were only 5,500 of them in 2012. It's one of the rarest special sovereigns around and worth looking for. And there's another one, two of them in at the same time, both got 70s. The owner of those will be very, very happy. And 2013, also a 70, so another good one. 
you might be thinking, well, you know, is it really, really easy to get 70s with these coins? And the answer is it's not really too difficult, but a lot of the people who send these coins in are pretty discriminating. So there'll be a lot of coins that they may take a look at. They won't buy. They won't buy them if there's any handling marks. Uh, they won't buy them with any scratching. They won't buy them if somebody's been messing around with them outside the capsule. You know, and so you see some of these coins on eBay. So, you know, people actually take proof coins, open the capsule, and take the coins out the capsule, photograph them, and if I see that on eBay, I will never buy from those people. If you are trying to sell a proof coin on eBay, do not touch it. Don't even open the capsule. If the capsule has marks on it, just explain the capsule has marks. But don't mess with proof coins. A lot of the coins people grade are proof coins because they can be so easily damaged and the value taken out of them by handling. And they are much, much safer uh, in a slab. There's another... This was a set of four of these £2 coins. You're seeing some of the other ones in the set. Uh, each coin represent, represented an area of uh, Great Britain. So England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. Two 70s and two 69s in that set, all conserved by NCS and then graded afterwards. So... Uh, you know, you need to buy very carefully these sovereigns. If you want to buy sovereigns, buy off somebody who's reputable, buy, buy a coin that hasn't been messed around with. Uh, if it's got handling marks, uh, make sure you take it back. If the pictures aren't good enough when you buy them, ask for better pictures and make sure that you only get the good ones if you want to send them in for grading. You can't guarantee a 70, but a lot of the time you'll either get 69 or 70 and you won't get the duffers. Here's a great Britannia. There's another half ounce Britannia. You don't see many of those around. Very nice design from 2008. So if you're still with us, there's only a few left in this box and then either the next one or the one after will be another mega results grading. But I have got some other stuff that I also want to show you uh, over the next few videos. And so uh, just keep looking, see how it goes. Click the little bell on the uh, Numistaka page to get notified of when the next videos are up. So uh, that's all from me for the moment. And please like, subscribe and let me have all your comments.